Nice sunny day for a change. I'm at Andover Railway Station um, going on a half a day trip to Clacton on Sea to pick up a new toy. Can you guess what it is yet? Right, I've picked up my uh, vehicle and uh, here it is. It's a 1992 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. Another inside. Excuse me for the wind. There's a few things not working, and the worst one is the wipers. And uh, it's raining, so I've just sat at the side of the road at the moment. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get through it. Put the cameras on and try and make it home. It's it's roughly 170 miles, like three and a half hours. So anyway, let's see how it goes.
it, I've just had to wire in the uh, wipers on a switch. It's on this switch now, so I can actually turn them on. Very on fast speed, but at least it's working. And the traffic's all come to a grinding halt for some reason. switch with this. This is the new wiper switch. Real roadkill or what?
Right, I got home in my uh, Caprice and uh, except for a couple of issues I knew about already, which was basically this switch is supposed to be multifunction. It does cruise control and all the wipers only, it only works for indicators. It doesn't work for the rest. It's all loose, as you can see. And so whilst I was on the drive, I wired in this switch. Uh, which just basically, if I turn the key on, where's the key? Yeah, turn the key on, this switch on, it operates the, the wipers. It seems to be on fast speed at the moment. Well, it was, but uh, let's have a look, start the car. Start the car. here to stop but I've basically just taken the radio out it had this pioneer in and I fitted the one that was in my Mondeo in here because it works with my phone it's all working fine just trying to work out some mechanism for operating all my stuff the other thing is I had a problem with the heated rear window, I believe it was. It uh, basically caused a wiring fire and I had all smoke coming out from here. I don't know if it shows on the video when I was driving it. And also I noticed that on the lights, oh, it's raining still. Hold on. Liters, the Chevrolet 305. So, how many MPG do you think this gets? Thanks for watching the video and uh, seeing this new car. Well, new to me. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with regards to the Chevy. Even though I'm a Ford lover through and through, I couldn't turn this down. Don't know why, just like the look of it, and the price was great. Uh, lovely drive back with a car I've never driven before, but all went well in the end. See you soon. Bye.